back to B Vlogs. We are starting the vlog off doing an unboxing because we just released our Valentine's Day mystery boxes. And I'm always so excited about these boxes because if you did not know, you probably did. My birthday is Valentine's Day. We always try and make these boxes like extra special. And what's awesome is that this year they're a little bit cheaper than before. So I'm gonna go through them and unbox them for you. First really awesome items. And I think as weird as they are, I think they're my favorite things. We have these felt Valentine's Day envelopes and they open up and they all say different things. They come in four different like styles, patterns. They all say different things on the top. This one says, P.S. I love you, which is my favorite movie. Bean knows, I force him oh, to watch I know. it. <laughs> so these, you can put anything you want inside. You could put love notes, you can put photos, keepsakes, anything you want. But what's cool about these Valentine's Day boxes is that if you get one, I'm gonna put a Valentine's Day note for you in here exclusive love note from Jesse V because I love you guys. I so don't even get one. You're not getting one. No, I Only don't. the V team. So you'll get a love note from me in one of these. Then we have some LED heart string lights. These will either come in pink or red and you could put these around your house for Valentine's Day, February, in your room. Da -da -da -da. It's really cute. So this is 86 inches long, so pretty big. Then we have the hugs and squeezes stress ball. This is really cute. It's actually a really good size as well. It says XOXO on it. Everyone needs this. Life is stressful sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. You're saying sometimes, I feel like always. <laughs> then we have what's called scent with love, which is bath confetti. So it's basically like fragrant soap that dissolves when you put it in the bath. And it's really cute because it's little hearts for Valentine's Day, which I love. Last but not least, we have so many different variations of these, so give me a moment while I collect them. But we have these really cute Valentine's Day magnets. There's so many, there's so many different ones. We have a lot of different mystery items, but this one's my favorite with the eyeball on it. I love you. Anyway, so also with this box, we are of course doing the golden tickets. So there will be three golden tickets hidden amongst these boxes with three different prizes. So the first one is a virtual collab with me on my main channel, Jesse V. The second one is a personalized video from me. And then there is a signed art print and personalized handwritten letter from me. So those are hidden amongst the boxes. And if you guys- I was saying that I was thinking of adding a fourth one in there where it's just a crisp high five high five yeah but then but they get to meet us no not in person just like i'll just oh a like, virtual high five I'm just like a not even virtual just know that i'm putting my hand up for a high five we'll like email I'm, them I'm, I'm waiting for it i'll just be a photo of me waiting no it's to, like to get one back we email them and be like at approximately this time we're gonna do a high five in the air get us back you know yeah that's, that's what's return the high five yeah, that was, that was scrapped quite quickly. Yes, so that's not in there. But yeah, if you guys would like a Valentine's Day mystery box, we have linked down below, go get one. Awesome. Okay, so the main reason why we are making this video today is to report that after making our wishes in the wishing well, they came true. Not the KD one, I, <laughs> I wish that did happen. That did not happen. But if you remember, Ty made his wishes about our bathroom mirror finally coming here because over the past six months, every single month we had tried to order a bathroom mirror and every single time it was either lost in the mail or it did arrive and was the completely wrong size or it did arrive and was the completely wrong mirror. So we have been going back and forth with this company forever and they keep like, like I said, lost or the wrong thing. So then in December, we finally got a notification that it was on the way it did not arrive. They lost it in the mail. So they told us they were gonna send us another one. So Ty made a wish. Actually, we could probably replay the wish. Because it's quite specific. It's very, let's replay the wish. So I wish you can get the correct mirror, all the right dimensions, nothing that a well can screw up, <laughs> and nothing that an uh, unfortunate website can screw up, and that we can have it nicely installed and looking pretty good. Because uh, I'm tired of looking at a blank wall with holes in it. This is a very long wish. You said to be specific. It's very specific. I don't want like a random mirror to show up and just like crash through the wall or something. <laughs> okay. Something that the well might want us to have. Don't tempt it. So that was his wish, okay? Not even three minutes after he made that wish, we ended the video. I got an email saying that the mirror was going to be delivered that next day, which is amazing. Then 
A day later, I got another email saying that the mirror they lost was now being delivered as well. So in a span of only a few days, we had two mirrors delivered. They were the right kind and the right size. So now we have two. And just to prove to you that we have two, that right there is the second mirror that arrived that was apparently lost in the mail. They had no idea where it was. And then we were finally able to put up the mirror in our bathroom. I know this is probably so silly, but you guys have no idea. Six months trying to get this in our bathroom. It's up! It's the right size, the right kind. And Ty is thrilled. Are you I'm thrilled? Very thrilled. Your wish came true. It did a little bit, but the only issue is, is there was some wishing well shenanigans going on because I just asked for one. We and got two, two to a total of how many do we have now in the basement? A lot. I think we have three in the basement. We have that one now. So I guess we're putting these mirrors everywhere, but the mirror that we have now is the same style as this one. <sighs> The We've worst part is, <laughs> it's not for us lacking to contact companies and say, hey, this is wrong, do you want it back? They just said, eh, sure, keep it. But yeah. we don't need it. Yeah. We do not need them. Well, So we have mirrors look. everywhere for future decorating. Yeah, well, we have our guest house coming so we can put all the mirrors so in I'm there. So I'm just gonna but... put all the mirrors on one wall right next to each other <laughs> and claim it's an art piece. So yeah, that is our update. The wishing well was very good to us. Kind of creeps me out a little bit. I feel like maybe we should make another wish in there. No. Nope. Not doing it. Why? Don't push your luck. Oh, we can't push the luck. It's a trap. Thank you, Wishing Well, for providing. I like how we're just thanking something that's quite literally made of styrofoam. It's a really pretty Wishing Well. I didn't expect it to be that nice when it came in. Or that large. Everything about it is exceeding expectations, so we're very happy about that. And we just had to report back to you because usually when we do like videos on the vlog channel, like testing urban legends and folklore and stuff, nothing happens. But because something happened, we wanted to let you know. So that's pretty cool. It's probably just a coincidence, but you never know. I love how the camera's trying to focus on my finger. People are gonna like copy my imprint and like do something bad. That's not how it works, kiddo. Oh, in all like the crime movies, they like have the fingerprint scanner. They also have the ability to enhance on things so much so that you can see like the cellular structure of somebody from like a disposable camera photo. That's, that's yeah. not how it works. Movies are realistic. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update. If you would like a Valentine's Day mystery box, check the link down below. But uh, yeah, we have a couple new creepy dolls to unbox in the coming weeks, so look forward to that. A couple? Yeah, I think there's two from like main channel videos that I bought on eBay and now they're here. And they've been here and we haven't been unboxing them. With them. No, there's two more. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye! I'm so terribly disappointed about Curse the Dolls, Jess. Why do you have your hood on like that? Because my hair is terrible. Come here. No. Come here.